Welcome to the 2018 SCMT Winter Finals at Hot Rod Hobbies in Saugus, California. Today, it's race two of the Winter Finals, where we'll be competing on the Charlotte Back to School Bash Course. I'm your host, Charlie Sentai, and with me is Low Budget TV's Tommy Mason. I'm happy to be here. Another great day at Hot Rod Hobbies. As you see, they're painting the track, getting it ready. Well, as you see, the competitors are hard at work. Uh, we already had one race from the figure eight race earlier in the day, and they are preparing and practicing for this really technical course. As we take a look in the SCMT Winter Finals track preview, we'll take a look at a qualifying run from hang time. Hang time on the throttle. Now this track much different from that easy going figure eight race. That was nothing easy about it. However, this track, you can get lost and make a lot of mistakes in a hurry. As you can see, we have an over-under jump as well as the chicane here that puts you back onto the outside lane. And it's a very technical track. I mean, even right here, you got the kicker jump you got to check up for before the finish line jump. Now, hang time clocked in with the second fastest run of qualifying, Trevor Adamo driving the hang time. But he also drove the launch control vehicle that claimed pole position as we look at the top 10 in qualifying who all get by runs in the first round. As we look at 11th through 22nd, these are the drivers that will have to do battle in round one. And a big field of competitors here, much like we saw in the figure eight, but Trevor, he's gonna be one to beat as he was a hard charger through that figure eight course on the last episode, but here on race number two, the back to school bash course. Um, it's just gonna be one of those mistake free races that I feel gonna get you through. So our first matchup is on the line. It's the Black Stallion of Jessica Dahl and the Power Wheels Bigfoot of James Zimmerman. So again, I believe this is gonna have to be a mistake-free course. You're gonna have to try to limit your mistakes and over and under. Oh. Jessica takes out a turning pole. Doesn't really matter on the over-under jump, but oh, mistake there. And Zimmerman just airs it off that kicker jump. Huge air. He's got the advantage. Oh, and Jessica knocks over another turning pole, so that's going to be a five-second penalty. So as long as Zimmerman doesn't botch it here, and another big air jump from him. Zimmerman takes the win, and the Power Wheels Bigfoot, and Dahl takes a spill over the finish line jump, but uh, gets it flipped back over. If you can't win the race, put on the best show. So Michael Letcher in the FS1 machine was supposed to go against War Wizard, but War Wizard broke, so he's going to get a buy run. Could be a big advantage, Tommy, to basically get another practice run on this course. Practice run and a free pass. And like you said, he's gonna have to try to get through this course. You can tell he's taking it easy, just kind of relearning the, the track and seeing what the oh. track, <laughs> Not can't, can't do that in a real race. Uh, have to hit every obstacle. So getting away with it right here. But I mean, you can tell, remember in the figure eight episode, how squirrely the track was? It doesn't look like it's playing any favors to any of these drivers right now, even taking a slow lap. So now we move on to our next pair. It's an Escalade versus Power Forward. Great start off the line there, even. Power Forward with a little bit of an advantage, but he's gonna have to cross over the outside lane as an Escalade jumps to the inside lane, but a little bit of problems off the landing of that jump, Tommy. You know, as a driver, I would probably get completely lost out here with my abundance of very little RC racing experience. So Power Ford surging ahead and looks like he will take the win and move on to round two. So very nice run for, for Power Ford. There's an Escalade across the line. Next matchup will be Levi Scones and the King Crunch and the Hooligan Machine. Oh, King Crunch. Oh. Trying to do some figure eight racing on the Charlotte tracks. So very much like the real King Crunch, actually almost <laughs> like, I think he had a crash like that at the Alamo Dome back in the day. Um, except he didn't rip the rear wheels off like uh, Scott Stevens did, so. Well, Hooligan trying to take out our cameras over on the far side of the track. So big lead for Hooligan, flying over the crossover jump, the over-under jump, and gets to almost lap King Crunch and comes across the line, your winner. Nice clean run by Jeremy Bunting in the Hooligan machine. So King Crunch kind of struggling here at Hot Rod Hobbies, Charlie. Seems like he's just 
not able to get this truck dialed in. But I mean, this is a tough course as he takes a spill over the kicker jump. Yes, he and, did. Uh, you know, those kicker jumps, most people do check up for that jump, but we do see a couple guys just airing it out. I don't think it's possible to double double the, the front stretch jump, so um, kind of two different trains of thought as far as what what is the fastest around this course. Kind of looks like there's some steering problems for King Crunch. Might have been the reason why he had trouble off the start. As we move to our next pair, it's the Destroyer versus Air Force Afterburner. Dan Evans off to a great start there. <laughs> it's actually Michael Letcher behind the wheel of the Destroyer. This one, oh, big flip, but he gets it back on all four wheels. So he still has a chance at winning this round despite the flip. Head to head, right across the line still. They are all over the track, but they are still battling it out here. As now Air Force Afterburner driving over the top of the Destroyer. And to the line. He will take the win, so great win by Air Force Afterburner. Now the nail biter for both drivers that whole course. <laughs> we move on to our next matchup. It's Virginia Giant versus Obsessed. They're separated by both coasts. One on the east and one on the west representing here in this race. A big lead out of the gate for Virginia Giant. Oh, a little bit of problems over that jump. Did not get both front wheels over, but... He's not in a hurry to try to correct it, though. He does have a pretty big lead, so it might not matter as he comes down to the home stretch, and he might actually lap obsessed. Oh, and he does, 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 right at the line. So, very strong run for Chris Rivali in the Virginia Giant. Man, this track is tricky. It is a tough track as uh, Levi again cannot wait for freestyle, so we will see him in our show later on. Um, but after the break, we'll have round two action. The SCMT Winter Finals is brought to you by Proline, racing to bring you the best. Fat Cat Customs. J Concepts. and TQ Media House. And we're back at the SCMT Winter Finals at Hot Raw Hobbies. It's round two action, and we will now see our top 10 qualifiers make their way into the field. We will kick things off with our number one qualifier, Launch Control, and a number nine qualifier, Rusty Titan. So now we're gonna get to see the fast qualifiers, like you were saying, the big boys, the heavy hitters, up against some of the drivers who have already taken a couple of laps around this track. Now these two, if you remember Tommy, in uh, the figure eight race, they had some issues on the starting grid, a little bit of mind you, as we, See, both drivers have problems. Adamo spins out launch control. Zimmerman has problems over the kicker jump. But Adamo seizes the lead. And Huge takes, air. Takes control of this race. So both drivers not having uh, great runs, but Adamo is able to get away with it and take the round win. As we see them continue in their scuffle. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and he loses a wheel. Well, a little post-race altercation, and we're dropping wheels on the track. Freestyle, you can tell, is coming up next. Here's a look back. So as you see, Adamo gets loose, but then Zimmerman almost flips it over on the first kicker jump, so not as smooth of a, of a run as you expected from both of these guys. But Adamo takes the round win and moves on, and as we see, the post-race scuffle between the two, and. Very much like Clydesdale losing a wheel back in the day in Louisville. So, uh, you know, tough break for Zimmerman, but we move on to Powell's Bigfoot versus Titan. It starts there for Power Wheels Bigfoot. He's out to an early lead. He will cross back over to the inside. Oh, and a flip for Titan. So as long as Zimmerman doesn't 
Flip himself, he should have this race more or less in the bag. Negotiates the chicane, doesn't knock over the turning pole, and he looks like he is on his way to a quarter. Oh, almost has enough time to back up and yeah. get things right and not get the penalty, and he will be moving on to the quarterfinal round. Does some donuts, too. Nice donuts out of Power Wheels Bigfoot. That's Titan. Gonna falter to the flames. As we move on, it's the Bad News Travels Fast Machine versus FS1. So FS1 had that buy run in the first round, but now he's gonna have to face a very good machine. Ooh. Ooh. That was some hesitation right there. Both drivers, one having hit the gas, the other having hit the brakes. Revolving with a pretty good lead now. He will have to cross over at the outside lane, but he should have this race well in hand as long as he doesn't make a mistake here. And he looks like he will be moving on to the quarterfinal round. So strong run by Bad News Travels Fast as uh, FS1 comes across the line now. Next pair is Power Forward versus Roush Performance. Off to a slow start, but I feel like that's gonna be what's gonna help you out. You don't wanna blow it into the first corner. Still fairly even coming down to end of lap one. Head to head. Oh, Power Forward with, with a nosedive. But uh, looks like Rush performance has stretched it out and should have. Oh, big mistake there. And power forward coming to the line from the back to the front off of a big mistake. So that just shows right there. The whole lead is safe. I mean, Michael Iacono just had two jumps to negotiate and he would have taken the win, but instead it's going to go to power forward of Michael Letcher as we take a look at the replay of what happened. And oh my he God. just got on the gas when he was still on the rear wheels and looped it. For the most part, Charlie, a relatively clean run all the way until that last jump. Yeah, you don't really see a crash like that very often as we move on to Bigfoot 20 versus hang time. On paper, hang time is the favorite. He was your number two qualifier. But you just never know, you know, as we saw in the last round, still fairly even. Oh, but uh, looks like Adamo should have the advantage, but oh, but he flips it too. And that, as the crowd goes wild, that shows this track is just <laughs> not forgiving at all. Bigfoot 20 is taking appropriate caution as the crowd goes nuts in this upset run, really. Upset win for Bigfoot 20. So you go to a replay. Trevor, who has been fast in every truck he's run here today at Hot Rod Hobbies, is going to come up short. As you saw, it was even at the end of lap one, but he had started to pull away, but just wasn't straight off of the jump and landed on the other lane and flipped over, and that was it. Big for 20 just idled it to the wind very carefully. Adding insult to injury there across the line. So big upset and a big opportunity for the rest of the field with one of Adamo's trucks out as we move to the Hooligan versus Time Flies pair. Side by side through the first set of corners. Nice. Looks like Hooligan may be stretching the league. Jeremy Bunty piloting the Hooligan machine. We'll see if Time Flies can make up the gap as he will have the crossover back to the inside lane right now. And it looks like Time Flies has just regained the lead, so Time Flies should have this win. And he does, he flips over the finish line, but that's okay, he crosses the line and gets the round win and we'll be moving on to the quarterfinals. He's gonna have to take out that timing light and have to take the officials to dinner. We'll take a look at the replay. So Hooligan actually kind of grabbed the jump, but Larry Turner and the Time Flies was able to make it up and grab the second round win and take out the finish line as well. Next pair is the Cody Sassier Motorsports Machine versus Air Force Afterburner. He 
decent start for both of them. They're heading to the backside. Oh, gets on the nose, but saves it for Air Force Afterburner. But that gives the advantage to Alan Manriquez and the Cody. Oh, oh but right then he just throws it away right on cue. So uh, looks like Air Force Afterburner should have this round win in hand as long as he doesn't make a mistake as he almost takes it too easy over that jump. Actually, uh, yeah, I just, uh, well, I guess he just wants to make sure he doesn't make a mistake, Tommy. The commentator's jinx is what you just applied yeah. on the Cody Saucier Motorsports as Air Force Afterburner. Comes across the line, you're winner. Sorry about that, Alan. I'll try not to do that again. <laughs> as we move to our next pair, it's the Virginia Giant versus Stars and Scars. So Michael Iacono and Stars and Scars are trying to redeem himself after losing on the last straightaway with uh, Rash Performance. And he's looking pretty good right now. Oh! Ooh, almost took oh, out the roof. Did, and he takes out a turning pole, so that's going to be a five second penalty. So we'll see if he can pick up the gap as Chris Ribaldi and the Virginia Giant looks like he is in good shape. Um, but, uh, Ooh, almost and, doing a yeah, double at the line. Yeah. Yukona tried to make up the distance, but he just couldn't do it. Chris Ribaldi will be moving on to the third round if he take a look at the replay. Yeah, Econo knocked over that turning pole, and after that he had to play, he was forced to play catch up, and just could not, so. Though so another lap, that could have made a difference. However, we don't do extra laps here nope. at SCMT. Coming up next, after the break, will be quarterfinal action from the SCMT Winter Finals. We are back at Hot Rod Hobbies with round three of the SCMT Winter Finals. The quarterfinal rounds, and it's launch control versus Power Wheels Bigfoot, the Time Flies versus Bigfoot 20, Bad News Travels Fast versus Power Forward, and Virginia Giant versus Air Force Afterburner. A couple of heavy matchups here. Some that are trying to come from behind. Power Wheels Bigfoot up against launch control. Round three, we're green. And a huge leap there. Oh, oh, and a tip over. Tips it over and with some help. Oh, but Adam he inadvert Adamo inadvertently flips it back over. But a mechanical. Looks like he might have a mechanical problem, Tommy. So that might be it for Parallels Bigfoot as uh, Adamo just, oh. <laughs> just needs to complete this run. And Adamo into the semifinals. So your number one qualifier. Well, I the semis. I can definitely tell Adamo trying to play a little bit of redemption on his end there. <laughs> yeah, after uh, his flip with hang time, uh, he still has one bolt left in the chamber as moves to our next pair. Bad News Travel Fast versus Power Forward. A bit of squirrely there for Bad News. Oh, oh way squirrely. Oh, but he is able to keep going, so kind of got away with one right there. Not the best of runs so far, but he's still in this race. He's still fairly even. Side by side at the line. He will have to go the outside though on this crossover, which will give the advantage to power forward. Turn, uh, hitting the turning pole. Oh, and he turns out on the front straight. So power forward takes the win. It was kind of a wild race, Tommy. Wild really. enough to where the car alarm's going off. Just take a look at the replay. At this point, I mean, I feel like Bad News Travels Fast was the faster truck, but he also had more problems in his run. Yeah, you can tell Power Forward taking the smooth, conservative approach, whereas Bad News, he's just all sort of Bad News, just running over everything on this track, kind of getting ready for freestyle. He didn't know it. He was trying to go hard as Power Forward coming across the line barely. As we move on, it's the Bigfoot 20 machine versus Time Flies. Full shot for Bigfoot 20. And he will get the over under jump that puts him on the inside. So he will grab the early lead. Time fly is creeping on into the picture though. A little bit of a ball for Bigfoot 20. And he will have to go through the chicane now as time flies goes to the over under jump. Oh, Pretty side even, by side. Very close race. 
at the line. Who's it going to be? Oh, get on the gas. That's a, that's a photo finish, but Bigfoot 20 squeaks out the win. Looks like both drivers kind of bobbled over that kicker jump as we take a look at the replay. I mean, the race was really anybody's to win in the last few feet. Yeah, they were playing nice right here. A great crossover jump there for both drivers, nearly getting connected with each other. And right at the line. Time Flies had a slight bobble over this kicker jump, had to straighten out, and while he did, Bigfoot 20 is able to get on the gas and just edge him out for that win. So Bigfoot 20 will be moving on to the semifinal round as we now take a look at the next pair of Virginia Giant and Air Force Afterburner. Ooh, oh, really there, that's not gonna help. Yeah. Great in freestyle, but not good in racing. No catching up, nice and tight though. Oh, but that chicane really slowed him down. So Virginia Giant with the advantage. Oh, but a, he gets squirrely after the, the finish line jump as well. He will cross back over into the outside lane and flip for uh, Air Force Afterburner. Oh, Ooh. catching up though, oh. a little bit squirrely. Yeah. Oh, but throws it away. Air Force Afterburner, even with all of his problems, still had a chance to win that race, but as we took a look at the replay, I mean, he flipped over, got squirrely, had a lot of problems, I mean, but Virginia Giant had his problems too. I mean, it, not the prettiest run out of either. Yeah. Virginia Giant just made it work the best. Just good enough to get by, and that's all that matters as he's moving on. Coming up next will be the semifinals and the finals when we come back to the SCMT Winter Finals. The 2018 SCMT Winter Finals is brought to you by ProLine, racing to bring you the best. Fat Cat Customs. J Concepts. And TQ Media House. It is time for the semifinal round of race two of the 2018 SCMT Winter Finals. Number one qualifier Launch Control faced Power Forward, and Bigfoot 20 will face Virginia Giants. I've seen a lot of double digit numbers there from qualifying, so Launch Control, while he was the fastest, gonna have to go up against the drivers who did a lot of upsetting. Yeah, our 10, 11, and 12 qualifiers are all in the semifinals as we see Power Forward versus Launch Control. And Mistake right off the bat for launch control, so we'll see if that's going to affect Trevor Dama. But looks like a flip for power forward will end his bid at a semifinal round, and it's too bad because Adamo is having struggles as well, so he was vulnerable. Oh, and another mistake, so very uncharacteristic for Adamo, but he will still get the win. So tough for for power forward. He maybe could have had a chance, but made some mistakes at the worst possible time. This track, Charlie, it looks like it is getting slick. It is getting loose out there. Now these drivers are gonna have to fight and control their trucks getting deep into this racing bracket. As we take a look at the replay, that's interesting you mentioned that, Tommy, because when we started, it was still sunset. There was still some daylight out, but now it's nighttime. There, the lights are out, it's completely dark, and how does that change the, a dirt track like, like the one we have at Hot Rod Hobbies? Well, definitely you got to take into effect the track is cool. The track is starting to come apart. You can see a little bit of the, the top layer starting to blow apart. And for these four-wheel drive monster trucks, you got to feather the throttle as much as you can. And I feel like that's what has egged Trevor as he spun it out. So who will face launch control in the final round? Will it be the Bigfoot 20 machine or Virginia Giant? Through the corner there, pretty even. Bigfoot 20 with the lead so far, but he will have to eventually cross back over to the outside lane. Is Start his, opening up the lead. Is the lead big enough? We'll see. If Virginia Giant comes back on the inside. Ooh. Oh, wait, they both get loose and spin out. Oh, oh, but Virginia Giant throws it away. And Bigfoot 20 will be moving on to the final round. Wow. If you take a look at the replay, both drivers had a golden opportunity to get to the final round. It, this race was in doubt all the way to the end. As we see the last corner, both drivers loop it. 
Virginia Giant oh. recovered first, but hits the jump. Not quite straight and flips it over. So Bigfoot 20, we facing your number one qualifier, launch control in the final round. So Bigfoot 20 is having to capitalize on a lot of mistakes while doing a lot himself. Launch control, he's the fastest qualifier. He's got to make it smooth, clean, and fast. How that all works, we have to find out. As we see Adamo staging his truck, doing some practice starts. It's kind of like uh, Barefoot in the old days when, uh, when they used to run Penda. All those guys used to always do practice starts going up that little ramp. Bombers have like... Crew chief there on Bigfoot 20. Yeah. Tuning it up, one last run. Last minute adjustments for Jeremy Bunting in the Bigfoot 20. He's gonna, he's gonna need it. He just ran, so his truck might be running a little bit warm, but he's on the grid and we're gonna see. It's our final round, Bigfoot 20 versus launch control. Both good on the tree to the first sets of corners. Launch control with the early lead. Oh, cuts that corner perfectly. Couldn't get any closer to that pole. Ooh, but almost takes out the camera. That means he ran way wide up against the pipes. Still with the advantage, and he gets to go over the crossover jump, so that's going to be a huge error, as you see. And some problems for Bigfoot 20 at the turning pole, and another win for launch control. And a bit of a freestyle leap there as he is your winner. Bigfoot 20 just coming up short. So Trevor Adamo sweeps the racing for the day. He was your 2018 SCMT Winter Nationals Back to School Bash champion. You take a look at the replay. Good start for both. This is where Trevor in launch control just starts to leg it out. See, he was running up against the pipes. Really trying to get a good arc through the corner and does it again right through here. So not afraid of the high side. Just like the Larson line. Kyle Larson would be proud. That's right. Launch control. So, uh, you know, this is a great day of racing, Tom. First with the figure eight and now it's back to school bash. And we got freestyle coming up. So We're done racing. Now we get to hang it out. Yeah, we get to smash some stuff up, tear this track up. Maybe almost to the point where it's unrecognizable. And we're going to have a, a grand old time of freestyle. So for Tommy Mason, I'm Charlie Siangtai. Join us next time for freestyle at the SCMT Winter Finals.